All right, find f of 3 minus the square root of 10, where f of x is x squared. So same idea as the last two problems on this. It's just now we're replacing x with 3 minus the square root of 10. So f of 3 minus the square root of 10 will equal, we're replacing x with, 3 minus the square root of 10. But we're going to square that because it was x squared before. So in this case, let me go ahead and get rid of this 2. And what I'm going to do is just write this twice. So 3 minus the square root of 10, because that's what the exponent means. It's the same thing multiplied by itself and the exponent number of times. So now what I'm going to do is distribute this. So I've got 3, oh, I'm sorry, 3 times 3 is just 9. Then I've got 3 times negative square root of 10, which would be negative 3 times the square root of 10. Now I'll factor this negative square root of 10, I'm sorry, multiply, um, distribute is the word I was looking for. So this is minus 3 times the square root of 10. And I did change the order on those. And then finally, minus, and this is a minus a negative, so I'm going to make that a plus. Square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is 10. So now what we end up with is 9. And in the middle here, I've got minus 3 times the square root of 10 minus another 3 times the square root of 10, which gives me a negative 6 square roots of 10. And then I would add 10. The only way to simplify this is to combine the 9 and the 10, which are like terms. And that gives us 19 minus 6 times the square root of 10. And that's as far as we can simplify this sucker.